Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Zundari Lagito Malingi or just for me, teacher Zundari. A licensed professional teacher major in mathematics. Ako po ay gumagawa ng mga Tagalog math tutorial mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Ito po ay tulong at dedikasyon para sa mga pagulang, sa mga magtuturo at lalo-lalo na sa ating mga kabataan. Ayan, kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to like and share and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga bagong video na ipapalabas. Stay tuned! Magandang araw, muli ako po si Teacher GM. Ngayong hapong tatalakayan po natin na mula sa grade 7, tungkol po ito sa subtraction of polynomials. At bago ang lahat, ibigyan mo na natin ang mga basic rules na subtraction of polynomials. Okay, subtraction of polynomials. Ang ating basic rules na gagamitin, ito po ay tinatawag na KCC. Ayan. Ano po ang KCC? Ito ay tinatawag na keep change change yan ano ibig sabihin nun? okay para maintindihan niyo magbigay ako ng iba't ibang halimbawa okay number 1 okay meron po tayong 5x cubed minus 7x squared plus 3x minus 4 subtracted by 8x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 so paano natin ito maiisolve Remember nyo ba guys yung addition of polynomials ang ating uh, two ways where we have grouping similar terms and vertical method. So now, gamitin muna natin yung grouping similar terms. Yan, okay. Mag-start tayo sa grouping similar terms. Ano ang basic rules natin? Diba meron tayong meron tayong KCC. Ibig sabihin keep, change, change. Alright. So, dito natin lagay K C, C. So, ibig sabihin, ito ang ating i-keep. Tapos, ang ating operation, i-change natin. At saka yung mga sign dito is i-change natin. Okay. So, we have, copy mo natin, 5x cubed minus 7x squared plus 3x minus 4. I-keep lang natin yan. Tapos, dito i-change natin yung operations. Ito, guys, tandaan nyo, once subtraction, oh, subtraction meaning i-change mo natin yung operation na magiging positive. Alright? Okay, next. So, Instead of positive 8, magiging negative 8 cubed. Negative, positive 2x, magiging negative 2x squared. And then, negative 3x at saka positive 7. Nakuha. Okay. Next is... Ayan. I-combine natin yung similar terms or similar ng exponents. So, let's say 5x cubed. And we have negative 8x cubed followed by negative 7x squared and then negative 2x squared. Next is positive 3x. Ayan. Next is negative 3x. Tapos negative 4 and positive 7. Alright. Nakuha. Okay, next is i-combine natin. So i-combine natin. Ayan. Ito. Diba? Sabi ko... Dati, once na hindi sila pariho ng sign, ibig sabihin, subtract natin ang uh, numbers. So, 8 minus 5, that is 3. And then, i-copy natin yung sign sa biggest number. So, which is 8 ang biggest number. So, ano ang sign niya? So, negative. So, i-copy natin ang variable, which is x cubed. Next, so, we have, ito na naman. Since pariho sila ng sign, so, ibig sabihin, i-add natin. So, 7 plus 2, that is 9. Ang sign, copy yung natin sign. So, 9, copy ang, ang variable, so x squared. Next is, i-add natin to kasi, ano, same sila ng terms. We have 3x minus 3x. Ibig sabihin, 0. Alright. So, next is, negative 4 plus 7, that is. So, i-subtract natin kasi hindi sila pareho ng signs. So, 7 minus 4, that is 3. And, copy the sign of the biggest number, which is positive. So, ito ang ating answer. Negative 3x cubed minus 9x squared plus 3. Nakuha. Okay. Proceed tayo sa number 2. Okay, so we have 2x squared y minus 5xy plus 3y squared minus 7x minus 6y squared plus 5x squared y. Okay, so ang ating basic rule, ayan, keep, change, change. So, you keep lang natin. Ayan, so we have, keep lang natin yung 2x cube y minus 5xy plus 
3y squared and then it change natin yung negative magiging positive all right magiging positive tapos positive memang negative 7xy and then negative magiging positive 6y squared and positive magiging negative 5xy ayan 5x squared y ayan nakuha okay next is i combine natin ang same ng um exponents so we have 2x squared y. So, ito ipagtapat natin sa negative 5x squared y. Next, followed by negative 5x. And then, followed by negative 7xy. Next is this one. Positive 3y squared. And followed by positive 6y squared. So, i-combine natin. So, since hindi sila pareho ng signs, i-subtract natin 5 minus 2 that is 3. Copy ang variable x squared y. Tapos, copy natin ang signs sa biggest number which is negative. Next is ito naman. Ayan. Uh, since pareho sila ng signs, i-add natin yung ayan. 7 plus 5 that is what? 7 plus 5 that is 12. Copy ang variable x y. Next, followed by this one. Same sila ng sign? Hindi. So, since magkapareho sila ng sign, ibig sabihin, i-add natin sila. So, we have 3 plus 6, that is 9. Positive 9, copy and variable y squared. This is our final answer, negative 3x squared y minus 12xy plus 9y squared. Nakuha. Okay, let's proceed to number 3. Okay, we have 11x exponent to 5 minus 5x cubed plus 9x squared minus 6x cubed minus 7x exponent to 5 plus 4x squared. So now, ano ang basic rule natin? We have ating ikip, change, at saka change. Alright, i-keep natin. So, magiging 11x raised 5 minus 5x raised 3 plus 9x raised 2 and then change. Ibig sabihin, i-change natin yung operation, magiging positive na siya. Tapos, ito, positive, magiging negative 6x cubed. Ito, magiging positive 7x uh, raised 5 and ito is magiging negative 4x squared. Alright, so next is i-combine natin. So, 11 x raised 5. So, meron siya dito. Ipagtapat natin yung same ng exponents. So, plus 7x raised 5 followed by negative 5x raised 3 or cube. And then, next, negative 6x3 followed by what? Positive 9x squared and negative 4x squared. Next is i-combine natin. Alright? So, i-combine. Ito ang una natin i-combine. So, 11 sim since pareho sila ng signs. So, i-add natin. So, 11 plus 7 that is 18. So, 18, copy ang variable, x raised 5. Tapos, dito naman, combine natin. So, sila na sign? Hindi. Same. So, we have, i-add natin, 5 plus 6, that is 11. Copy ang variable, we have x cubed. Ang sign natin is negative. Copy lang kasi same sila na sign. Next, dito naman tayo. So, same sila na sign? Hindi. Hindi. So, ibig sabihin, i subtract natin. So, 9 minus 4, that is 5. Copy ang variable, x squared. And, i-copy natin yung sign sa biggest number, which is positive. Alright. So, this is our final answer. 18x raised 5 minus 11x raised 3 plus 5x squared. Nakuha. Okay. Let's proceed to number 4. Okay. So, number 4, subtract 4x cubed minus 7x minus 10 from 6x squared minus 4x plus 10. So, in this problem... Have you observed na mayroong word na from? Ibig sabihin that ang ating problem is nag-start siya dito sa 6x squared. So, ibig sabihin yan ang ating unang i-sulat. So, we have 6x squared minus 4x plus 10. Alright? Okay, next is subtracted by. So, we have 4x cubed minus 7x minus 10. Okay, ano ang ating basic rule? Okay, ating lang i-keep change change. Alright, so next is, i-keep lang natin to. So, 6x squared minus 4x plus 10. I-change natin yung operation, magiging positive na siya. Alright, so magiging positive. Ang positive, magiging negative 4x cubed. Negative, magiging positive 7x. Negative din, magiging positive 10. Next is, i-combine natin yung same ng exponent. So, since meron tayong cube dyan, so una natin yun, isulat yung cube. So, we have negative 4x cubed, ayan, followed by positive 6x squared and we have, combine natin yung 4x at saka 7x. Ayan, 7x. And followed by positive 10 and positive 10. Next is, i-add na natin. So, let's say, we have negative 4x cubed plus 6x squared 
And i-combine natin ito. Same sila ng sign? Hindi. Hindi. So, ibig sabihin, i-subtract natin. 7 minus 4, that is what? That is 3. So, 3, copy ang variable x. That is, ang i-copy natin yung sign sa biggest number. We have positive 3x. And then, i-add natin itong 10 plus 10, that is 20. Ayan. So, this is our final answer. Negative 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x plus 20. Okay, let's proceed to number 5, the last number. So, we have 1.5y cubed plus 4.8y squared plus... 12. So, ibig sabihin, nakikita nyo ba na mayroon tayong decimals? So, if grouping similar terms ang ating gagamitin, mas matagalan kayo. So, much better kung ating gagamitin ay vertical method. Alright. So, paano yung vertical method? So, but bago ang lahat, i-apply mo natin yung basic row natin. Yung keep, change, change. Alright. So, let's say we have 1.5y cubed plus 4.8y 4, 4 squared plus 12 and it's just natin yung operation, magiging positive na siya, no? Ayan. Ayan. Positive, ito ay ne negative y cubed, positive 1.7 y squared, negative 2 y. Nakuha. Okay, so next, i-apply na natin yung basic or ang ating gagamitin na vertical method. Alright. So, let's say, ayan. So, 1.5 y cubed plus 4.8 y squared plus 12. Ayan. Over. Ayan, ilagay natin yung negative. Pagtapat natin yung same ng exponent. So, negative y cube followed by what? Positive 1.7y squared. And since meron tayong 2y, ibig sabihin, mauna masulat ang 2y rather than sa 12. So, ibig sabihin, ang um, plus 12 dito na lang yan. Plus 12 and dito is negative, negative 2y. Alright, so okay. Next is, is subtract natin. So we have 1.5y cubed minus y cubed. Ibig sabihin, once ang ating variable na walang number, so meaning to say, meron po siyang visible 1. So ibig sabihin, meron siyang 1 dito na nakalagay. So let's say 1.5 minus 1, that is 0.5y cubed. Followed by, alright. And followed by, ayan. Ayan, followed by. So, positive na to ha? Positive na to kasi na na-apply na natin yung keep change change. Right? So, 4.8 uh, 4 plus 1.7, that is 8 plus 7 and 15, run down 5, gary 1. So, 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6. So, 6.5y squared, bring down 2y plus 12. Is it the final answer? Yes. This is our final answer. So, we have, meron tayong 0.5y cubed plus 6.5y squared plus 2 minus 2y plus 12. Alright, so and that's all for today at sana meron kayong uh, napupulot na aral. So next time, um, tatalakayan po natin yung multiplication of polynomials. But bago tayo um, tatalakayan yung multiplication of polynomials, i-review ko muna yung laws of exponents. Alright, so and that's all for today. God bless and stay safe. I'm back. Ayan. Kung nakatulong po sa inyo, please like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. It's me again, Teacher GM. Laging nagsasabing, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti para sa may magandang kinabukasan. See you to my next vlog. God bless and goodbye.